Hi everybody and welcome back. It's another day of live streaming with Nano Girl. Today we're going to talk about boats and floating. We're going to make two types of boats today. How are you all doing? Are you all doing well? Remember how it works? If you're in our Facebook group then you can add a comment below. Let me know the name of your child and I'll try and do a shout out to them. Try and add where they're from too. Um, but first, yesterday we made three types of planes. Do you remember these? We've had hundreds and hundreds of videos through showing us your planes. We've also had lots of photos. Let's take a look at some of the photos that came through overnight to see you and your planes. They made all three types and they made one each. Maya and James making their rocket launchers. That was from two days ago. Well done. Thomas and Isabel. Isabel starting young with their planes. And we have Okayo Primary School. Now this was taken before lockdown, so don't worry that they're all hanging out together. These were their rocket experiments that they did right before lockdown. Look at these great teams. Lots of air pressure going into a pump, I see. I bet they flew really high. And Lynn is doing her plane in Christchurch. I love the skirt too. Okay, we have Foot Force. Foot Force, I cannot throw with my fleet. That is an extra talent over there, so well done. Um, those are our photos. Don't forget, we've got more videos coming up. So if you've submitted a video, we'll let you know maybe it's going to be you that's famous today. Today, though, we're going to make some boats. So you're going to need to get your equipment together. I'm going to show you what we have. So you're going to need some aluminium foil. You don't need much of it, just a square of it. And you're going to need some cardboard. Doesn't matter what type of card. I've got a thick card or you can use some cereal box card. Doesn't matter what type. I've got both here. I might use both. It makes no difference. You're also going to need some scissors, some blue tack or some plasticine. You're going to need a pencil, a ruler, and some sort of stick. I have a wooden skewer, but you might find a twig from outside. You might have a toothpick. Doesn't matter what it is. We're going to use this for our sail. And you're going to need something to float your boat in. I have a dish here with some water. You need some water in your dish. You could use a big bowl. It's helpful if your bowl is see-through or transparent because then you can see if things are going to float or sink. And you're going to need some dish soap. I have some a little bit of dish soap left in here. Um, now, make sure you have all of those items. If you don't have those items now, go grab them. I'm going to grab an extra two bits. If you've got them lying around, grab a sheet of paper or grab a paper towel. If you don't have them lying around, don't worry. But if you do, just add those in and then we're going to go. So go grab those items. While we're grabbing those items, let's take a look at some of the videos that came in overnight. Hi, my name is Deacon. I am going to show you how I fly these. I made them with nano gear. So let's see how they fly. Ready, steady, go, Hartley. Uh huh. Whoa, that went all the way to the bin. That was a big one, too. Whoa, Hartley, that was amazing. You were standing on the table. I like that altitude there. It gives you an extra head start. So thank you for submitting videos. Remember, if you want to submit videos or photos to us showing you your favorite experiments to me, Nano Girl, then make sure you send us an email. It is videos at nanogirllabs.com. If you wanted to feature your video, it's got to be 60 seconds or less, please. 60 seconds or less. Okay, we're going to start building a boat. But before we build the boat, let's do some shout outs. Who is watching? Now, I know that there's lots of people watching. We can't say hi to you all, but hi from Isabella Thompson in Blenheim. You got a shout out. There you go. Who else do we have? We have Brennan and Zante from Stanmore Bay. Hey, I bet you can see some boats from where you are, maybe. Hi from Nico. Hey, Nico. We have Sasha. Sasha, hi, how are you? We have Kira in Taranaki. Hi, Kira, how are you? And Layla, hey, Layla. 
Okay, a couple more shout outs and then we'll get moving on. We have Felix in Napier. Hi, Felix in Napier. Maybe you can see some boats from Napier. And Jacob in Invercargill. Okay, we'll do some more shout outs in a little bit. Now I've got a very special shout out. My special shout out is to somebody called Kai. And Kai lives in Shanghai, Shanghai in China. And I know that he is watching with his dad, Craig, live too. So we're all over the world right now. Hi, Kai, welcome to our show. So we're gonna start with our first type of boat and that's gonna be a sailboat. So for this, we're gonna need a bit of card and that's gonna give us the base or the foot of our boat. Now think of boats that you know. What shape are boats? Are they rectangular all the way around or do they have a pointy bit? So I want you to draw on your card the shape of a boat. If we move to my top-down camera, you can draw in your pencil. I'm just drawing in pen so you can see it in my camera. I think boats have a pointy front and that pointy front is to help them push through the water. And then I want a lot of cargo on my boat, so I'm gonna make my boat into this sort of shape. Now you can make your boat any shape you want. If you want a rectangle boat, you can do that. If you want a circular boat, you can do that. And we're gonna cut out in this card the shape that you want of your boat. It can be as big or as small as you like. Just to give you an idea, my boat is eight centimeters across and 13 centimeters long. You don't have to match it, I'm just giving you a sense. It's about slightly bigger than the palm of my hand. Okay, so draw out your boat shape onto your card and cut it out for me. While you are doing that, let's take a look at some more videos that have been sent in. Who else has sent in some videos? Let's see what you've been doing. Wow. Touch the door. Right, Libby. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, nice. Throw the other one. Oh. <laughs> one hit the basket. Whoa. That was a great last one. Thank you again for all of those videos. Okay, how did your cutout go? Was it good? Take a look at me now. We're gonna go into the top down camera. I want you to get your foil and you're gonna put your foil underneath your boat. I've got a square of foil. Oh, it's not really a square, a sort of square that is like quite a lot larger than my boat. What we're gonna do is this is gonna be the base of our boat and we're gonna fold the foil up and make a lip either side to strengthen it. So each of the sides that you've got, you're gonna fold it so it's twice as thick. You see I've folded it here. And then I'm gonna do that on the top. So I've got a pointy top. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now I've still got quite a lot of distance here so I'm gonna fold it one more time so that the thickness of my foil is about probably one and a half centimeters, almost two. And I'm just stiffening the sides here and they're gonna create some nice walls to our boat. And those walls are gonna help us to keep the water in. Sorry, the water out, the air in. We don't want the water in, our boat might sink. Okay, so now I've got some nice walls I'm gonna turn those into wall shapes. I'm gonna fold them straight up and then you'll need to fold them over on the corners. So you can hopefully see, I've got a bit of a boat shape at the bottom and then I'm gonna do the same for the pointy bit over here. Actually, I might have a nice pointy front like that. So you can see I've wrapped around my foil, so I've got 
At some, the smallest point is one centimeter, the biggest point is about two and a half centimeters. So I've got these nice walls. Now the reason why we're doing this is this is gonna help us to help get our boat to float. So if I put this in now, it should float. Should we give it a bit of a test? Should we have a look? Let me move my water in closer so you can see. What do you think? Do you think it's gonna float or sink? Any guesses? Float or sink? Float or sink? Here we go. Du, 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 du. And it floats. And not only does it float, I can see how good it is as a boat by trying to put some heavy things in it. So I'm gonna put a pebble, two pebbles. What about three pebbles? And you can try this at home and see how good your boat is at floating and how much cargo it can take. Maybe you've got some marbles. Float, well done, it does float. So the higher I make these walls, the more likely it is to float. If yours is sinking, it might be because you've got a hole in it. But this boat on its own isn't going anywhere, so we're gonna need to give it some sustainable power. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a sail for our boat. So take your boat out of the water and I'm just gonna put it on a little napkin so that it stays dry. Now your sail can be made out of anything that you want. You can make it out of another piece of card. What it needs to be made out of is something that when you blow against it, the air can't go through. So you can do another piece of card, you can do it out of a tissue, or this is some kitchen paper, or you can do it out of a sheet of paper. So the first thing you need to do is make a mast. So you're gonna put some blue tack or some plasticine to hold your mast in place. We go to our top down camera. You're gonna put it in the middle of the rectangle part of your boat. And then you're gonna take a stick or a skewer or whatever you have. I have a skewer here. This is quite a tall skewer, so I'm gonna break it in half. My skewer is now mm, 10 centimeters. But you can make yours as big, as small as you like. You're eventually gonna put it into the middle here, but a skewer on its own is not very good. We're gonna need to actually have a sail. And so what should I make my sail out of? Why don't I make it out of some paper? You can make yours out of some card or some tissue. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna make a sail out of my card. I'm just gonna strip, cut a strip of paper to make a sail like this. I'm gonna roll it like so, and then I'm gonna put the skewer straight through the middle of that fold there. So I've gone through the middle of the fold, and when I do that, my sail sticks like this. How does that look? You can try this with your card. If you're putting it through your card, you might need to put some holes in first so it sticks to your skewer, or you can do it through your tissue. Okay, so now I'm gonna reattach my skewer to my blue tack. And now you can see I have a boat that has a sail. And if you look at sailboats, out in the water, you'll see that their sails also curve like this depending on the direction of the wind because we want to trap the wind and that wind being trapped in the sail material or in our case, the paper or the card is going to help to push the boat. So shall we see if it works? I'm going to give my boat a long distance to go and I'm going to put it on the top and we're gonna get it to float. And then I'm going to blow with my mouth and I'm gonna create some wind and hopefully my sailboat is gonna go this way. Let's take a look. In fact, I'm gonna make it even more dangerous. I'm gonna put a little bit of cargo on my boat. Yeah, a couple of rocks and we're gonna see if it can carry my rocks for me. All right, here we go. We've got rocks being carried and I'm gonna blow and let's see what happens. <gasps> And there she goes! <laughs> you can bring it back and try again. And perfect! Now you might want to try different types of sails, different types of sail material, a big sail, a small sail. You might want to try blowing with different things. Maybe you've got a hairdryer and see how far your boat can go. So this is boat number one, sailboats. Maybe if you've got a brother or a sister at home, you can see whose boat goes the fastest and do some racing. 
That's boat number one, sailboats. And if you look out in the ocean, you will see lots of sailboats using the power of the wind to go in the direction that we want. And the great thing is there's lots and lots of wind. So it's classed as a sustainable power, meaning that it's renewable energy and it's good to be able to use renewable energy because that's nature working at its best. All right, should we do some shout outs before we do our next experiment? Let's do some shout outs. Who is online? I like making paper planes yesterday. My sister knew, oh, knew it was a wheel straight away. Tad, thank you so much. Who else have we got? Hi, Nana girl. Please, can I get a shout out for first timers? Of course, Olivia, Caitlin, and Jenna. Hi, nice to have you here. Heidi, Harrier, and Hohepa making boats from Weymouth Primary. Hi, nice to see you. And we have Toby and Caleb from Gore, all the way from Gore, watching while having a hot chocolate. Can I have a hot chocolate, please? Please shout out first time from Tiana, Tony from Keddy Keddy Primary School. Hi, I was up in Keddy Keddy two weeks ago. Please say hi to Aidan and Millie in Auckland. We love watching you. Hi, Aidan and Millie. I love that you're watching us too. Hello, Emily, five-year-old, and Bella, one month old, just starting young. I like this, all the way from Christchurch. And hello from Wilfred. Okay, we'll come back to our shout outs. Grab your piece of card. We're gonna make a different type of boat. I'm just gonna move my water out of the way. Okay, so this type of boat is a what we call a soap powered boat. And this one is gonna drive or move on its own. So again, grab your ruler, grab your card. Uh, if I move down to my top down camera, please, we're gonna draw a similar pointy shape. So you remember this shape for our boat here. Let me take this off so you can see the shape. It's got a pointy roof. I always feel like it looks like a bit of a house. We're gonna draw that same sort of shape. So I'm gonna make mine, hmm, let's make mine 10 centimeters long. So I'm gonna draw a line in the middle that's 10 centimeters. One, two, see those two dots there? About 10 centimeters long. And how wide shall I make it? Let's make it eight centimeters wide. So along the base, Josiah is thinking he might use this fan to push his boat alone. Oh, please do. And then show me the video. Okay, so I'm gonna go four centimeters either side of my bottom line. So I've got eight centimeters. You don't have to be totally accurate, don't worry. I am just trying to make a shape that I like. Now I'm gonna go up the sides by, hmm, I'm gonna go up by six centimeters. I'm gonna show you the shape and I'm trying to show you the dimensions so you can see how big mine is, but you can make yours as big or as small as you like. And then I'm gonna make the pointy roof like so. Okay, so you want to make this sort of shape. I always think it looks like a house. What do you think? Now at the bottom here, around your middle line, I want you to make another pointy shape, but instead I want you to make it two lines like this and a flat roof like that. Okay, so it doesn't matter how big it is, mine is about one centimeter high and two centimeters wide. That pointy bit is the important bit. Okay, so we're gonna cut this shape out and while we're cutting that shape out, I've got a joke for you. Are you ready? Here we go. It's a joke. See if you know what the answer is. What kind of vegetable is not allowed on a boat? What do you think? What type of vegetable? It's a leek. Get it? You don't want to leak your boat, do you? Who likes leeks? Does anybody like eating leeks? Mm -mm -mm, they're good for you. They are good for you. So I'm just going to cut my boat out. How are you doing with your boat cutting? Tell you what, while we're cutting it, why don't we shoot to some videos? I've got some great videos today. Uh, let me see, why don't we do Point View School? So Point View School sent in some videos of them doing their rockets. This is right before lockdown, so don't worry that they're all hanging out. Let's take a look at Point View School. Hi, my name is Manai and I'm from Point View School in Auckland. This year, all 250 of our year three and four students are learning about medieval catapults. But sadly, because of COVID, we're in lockdown and we have to do our lessons at home, which is not nearly as much fun. But thankfully, our technology teacher directed us to Nano Girl Lab on YouTube. It's really cool. We made lots of cool experiments all about levers and energy, like this catapult here. 
Nano Girl is a real superhero scientist. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, point view, that was amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you to your teacher, Stuart. We love what you do. We think you're one of the bestest teachers ever. How's your cutting out going? So I have cut out two. And the reason why I've cut out two is to, number one, give you a bit of time to catch up. But also, in science, what we do, or we like to do, is a control test. So I'm going to show you a control test here. So all I've done is made two exactly the same. OK, Twilosa. Hi, it looks like a murai. It does look like a murai. You are right. Good shape. I like that you're doing a murai shape. Okay, I've got my two, two shapes the same. You only need one shape. I'm just going to show you an experiment because we're going to do a control test first. And a control test is what scientists do to try something and then they change something to see if that thing that they changed is the thing that made a difference. So, get your water. And go to my top down camera, please. Okay, I'm going to put my boat that's just been cut out onto the water and we're going to see if anything happens. Now, theoretically, nothing should happen other than it floats. And it floats. And the reason why it floats is because of something called surface tension. And surface tension is basically how all of these water molecules are attracted to each other through something called cohesion. But you can see that my boat, it's not going anywhere. I mean, I could blow on it like we did before and move it but otherwise it's not going anywhere. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the power of soap, soap, to actually help with surface tension. It's gonna break up that surface tension and it's gonna propel our boat forwards. So before we do that, should we do some shout outs? Who's online? Who's gonna say hello? Hi to Angus and Harriet on the farm in Hawke's Bay. It's your first time watching, huh? Hi. Oh, thank you, Auntie Kate, too. Hi from Astrid, who is Severin. Hi, you made an amazing boat. Yay, with Playmobil people. I like that you have passengers. We love science from Daniel and Matthew in Ralston. Hi, Daniel and Matthew. Hi, Nanny Girl from Blake and Georgia in Hampton Street in Nelson. Hi from Isaac and Nolan. Hi, Isaac and Nolan. How are you doing? Claudia, Rosie and Evelyn in Tonganui. Hi. Greetings in lockdown in New South Wales. We got another New South Wales, Australia. Hi, fellow people who are in lockdown. We're sorry that Australia is also in lockdown, but nice to have you on our show. Shout out to Charlotte and Amelia from Tauranga. Hi, Charlotte and Amelia. Okay, enough shout outs. So the secret ingredient is gonna be your dish soap. Now make sure you don't get any dish soap into your water, because what we want is we want the surface tension to be high over the top of your water. And you may have noticed that some insects and even a spider called the wolf spider, they can walk on top of water. And they can do that because of this amazing surface tension on the water. And they're very light and they have tiny weeny feet. And so they can walk on water. Imagine if you could walk on water. What do you think that would be like? Would that be cool? Not cool? That'd be kind of cool. Matthew H5 from Auckland is hanging out for his first ever shout out. Here you go, Matthew. This is your first ever shout out. Okay, so you're gonna take your boat. Don't panic, you're gonna get your soap. Now, before we make this happen, it's time for a little quiz. What's under Nano Girl's microscope? So I've taken Nano Girl's microscope, I've clipped it onto my phone, and I have found something that's related to boats today and I've taken a picture. Take a look at this picture and see if you can guess what it might be. What do you think it might be that's related to boats, do you think? Let's look at its color, look at its texture. Who wants to offer up some guesses? What do you think? Hi from Phoebe and Jasper. I think that says in Auckland, first time watching and you're loving it. Oh, here we go, I'm moving. Look at that, I'm moving around. Woo, you're making me dizzy. All right, that's enough. What is under Nanny Girl's microscope? Who else is gonna guess? What do they think that is? An oar, very good. And what is an oar made out of? What is an oar made out of? Typically, anybody wanna guess? Wood, yay! It is out of wood. So, some boats are made out of wood. Well done, all of you who guess wood. Top of an oar, yeah, and oars are made out of wood. So today it's made out of wood and you can see the grains of the wood. A cannon is not a cannon, but good guess, Jack. So not all boats are made out of wood, some are made out of metal. And the reason why metal boats don't sink, because metal is very heavy and dense, is because there's lots of air inside the boat. Remember how we made lots of air inside our boat here with the walls? 
but wood has lots of air trapped inside it and that can help it to float too. Declan thinks it's a stick, it's a wooden pole. You're all right, it is this piece of wood here. Well guessed. Now, are you ready to test your boat? So you're gonna take your boat and I want you to put a dab of your dishwashing liquid on your fingertip. Can I get the top down camera here? Don't get any into your water yet, it's very important. Just put a dab on your fingertip and I want you to dab the soap, not on the front of your boat, but you know this little shape we cut out here? I want you to dab the soap along the line of that bit on the back. Make sure it's nice and soapy. And what that's gonna do is that is gonna break up the cohesion of the water at the back of the boat. That's gonna cause the water molecules to want to move away from each other and as they move, they're gonna hopefully push our boat forward. So do you have enough soap on the back of your boat? I'll put another drop on just to check. Okay, you only need a drop or two, you don't need too much. Make sure it's on the back, not on the front. And you can only do this once, and then if you wanna do it again, you have to replace the water because the soap is gonna be in your water if you do this. So if you wanna do this again, you can totally do that. Just make sure you put fresh water in every time. Are you ready to do our test? So hold it at one end of your bowl, and then you're gonna drop it in and let it go. And if this works, if we're gonna break the surface tension thanks to the surfactant that is the soap, my boat should move all by itself. Remember our control boat? It just sat there. Let's have a look at our soap powered boat. Here we go, three, two, one. Whee! <laughs> look at that! So, um, two types of boats. We looked at buoyancy, we looked at um, surface tension, and hopefully you're gonna show me your videos. Remember, videos at nanogirllabs.com if you want to send us your video. We will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going to be doing sound experiments. Now, before you go, if you do like boats and you do like learning more, there is an amazing website that you can go to. It's made by Sir Ian Taylor, and it's called Mata Ranga. Mato Ranga. It's all about our history as boat builders and voyagers. If you want something to do, this is great for schools too and it's totally free, go to mataronga.co.nz and there's heaps of activities on there, including nano girl activities where you can build different types of boats. We will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow is all about, we're gonna have a bit of a party. It's all about the science of sound. We're gonna make some noise because it's gonna be Friday tomorrow and I will see you all very soon. Thank you.